What's going on, YouTubers? Darwin Dad here for you. I got uh, gonna give you guys a little tour of all the different stuff that I've done for my kids, from hockey to gymnastics to some Ninja Warrior stuff. Um, just kind of show you what uh, DIY stuff I've done. The first video I'm gonna give you here is what I love to call the hockey scarecrow. You know, a lot of uh, parents complain the kids' hockey equipment either doesn't dry or it's I coached mites this year, some kids really stink. Um, a lot of that is, is you're leaving your equipment zipped up in your bag after practice. Um, so what you need to do is either just spread it out somewhere or come up with a little hillbilly invention like I did. That's like I said, the hockey scarecrow. There are some pretty nice ones out on Amazon if you got that kind of cash. We don't, so uh, I'll give you a little tour of it. Well, everyone. And here it is, the hockey scarecrow. You can see why I affectionately call it that. It's pretty simple. I had two scrap uh, one by fours laying around and one two by four. Some half inch PVC pipe that I had laying around from some speed hurdles I did. I'll kind of show that on another video. And down at the bottom, so what I did is I took the two one by fours, I cut about two inches out of each each side of one so I can make an X like that cross them over then I just screwed them to the 2x4 that's the feet so I draw um, I took a half inch drill bit drilled it through for the skates here fits perfectly the PVC pipe you can just hang the skates right over it next I put uh, I had some elbows on the PVC pipe put those on for the gloves just kinda wanted to get the gloves turned away a little bit next I got another PVC pipe drilled through here I usually hang elbows or the shinnies whatever you got on there hockey socks and the top is actually a wood doll I went with the wood doll on the top because there's usually a little more weight on this with the shoulder pads and uh, the breezers if you're in Minnesota, hockey pants, pretty much the rest of the world. And you can see right now I just got his hockey socks draped over. On the top for his helmet, you know, with the foam inside the helmet, I was worried that the 2x4 would uh, kind of dig into it. So I took a pool noodle and just jammed it over the top and then wrapped some hockey tape around it to hold it there. That way it doesn't get any marks in the helmet. Then in the back for his practice jersey, it's just a shelf hanger. Pretty simple. Nothing too fancy, just hangs the practice jersey. And the reason I wrapped it in hockey tape, that was just kind of looks. I uh, had some old rolls, you know, that don't stick to the sticks very well anymore. So I just wrapped it up, just kind of cleaned it up, made it look a little nicer. And some old spray paint whatever I had laying around so that's it pretty simple I don't even think well it's all scrap lumber old hockey tape I don't even think I have 10 bucks in it if that because it's all either garbage wood or garbage plastic so use your imagination have questions feel free to hit me up look me up on Instagram Darwin dad hit me up in there good luck and have a good season